in the global markets, decisions about prices, about buying stocks or commodities are increasingly made by AI. And what we just do in the last few months with the uh, appearance of uh, ChatGPT is the ability to yeah. tell stories that for all of human history, only humans were able to tell stories. Humans never experienced the reality as it is. We always experience reality through a curtain, through a prism, through glasses of culture, through texts and music and images. And all through history, the only thing that could create texts and stories and images and, and music was other human beings. And now we have a non-human intelligence that may be better than us at creating this curtain, this prism between us and reality. Humans are always very afraid because they know the power of stories. That, you know, stories create nations and also create wars. The entire economy is built on stories. Money is just a story. Corporations like Facebook, like Google, they are just stories in our mind. Religion. And you have, for instance, in Buddhist tradition, the concept of Maya, illusion. And humans, the fear of being trapped in Maya, trapped in illusion. And we may now be entering the age of Maya, the age of illusion, because we now have a non-human intelligence which is able to kind of place a curtain before our eyes. We see all over the world this tension between the need and the desire to, to modernize and the need and the desire to preserve tradition. And in both cases, we need to be wise. We, we shouldn't modernize blindly, just adopting the latest technology just because it's there. And similarly, we shouldn't preserve traditions just because they are there. The fact that something is old doesn't necessarily mean it's good. In the hands of the wrong people, AI could be the end of democracy. AI could also be the basis for the worst totalitarian regimes in human history. Because, you know, dictators always dreamt about following everybody and monitoring everybody all the time, mm. but they could never do it because, you know, even the Soviet Union, you have 200 million Soviet citizens. Stalin didn't have 200 million KGB officers to follow everybody around all the time and then to analyze all, you need millions of analysts to analyze all the data you, you collect. Now it is becoming possible. What you, we know about technology that, you know, you can use the same technology to build completely different societies. In the 20th century, some people used trains and radio and electricity to build totalitarian regimes like the Soviet Union. And other people used exactly the same technology to build liberal democracies. Mm. It's the same with AI and with the technologies of the 21st century. We still have a choice about how to employ them. I think that AI is nowhere near its full potential, but also human beings are nowhere near our full potential.